Adam, the floor is yours for breaking news. Well, Susie, this just in, but the Bengals linebacker Vontez Burfecht, who had been rumored to be traded to Oakland, is in the headlines for another reason. He is facing a four-game suspension for violating the NFL's PED policy pending an appeal. Now, there's a long explanation behind this, but essentially it comes back to the fact that he was playing with a concussion, a separated shoulder or an AC sprain in his shoulder, was taking prescribed medication, had a disputed test in late December, at which point he had already been ruled out. And I think that's where his argument is going to be in the future that why would he be trying to gain an advantage when he wasn't even playing? But the fact of the matter is the Bengals are looking at the possibility that Vontaze Burfecht could miss the first quarter of the season with the PED suspension right now. When that test comes back, you know, they, they've got their, their list of banned substances and that test comes back and, you, and you're positive for one of them. I mean, this is... I don't know about what the appeal percentage is and you get this, get this lesson, but usually that PED list is usually set in stone. And if there's something that comes up on there, it's the mistake of the player. Or is it a mistake? Maybe it was, but still, you got to pay the price and it looks like a quarter of a season. Not good for the Bengals, Dan. Yeah, responsible, obviously, for what you put in your body. And, uh, and there is always an appeal process. So before this is announced, they'll have legislated it once it is announced. Um, if it's announced as four games, then then that's what it'll be. They'll, they'll be. I've already been past the appeal, but um, for reasons that are different from this, this is a player that has begun several seasons on the suspended list because of uh, on-field violations. Uh, he's missed a lot of time and, uh, and obviously a continued troubled career for Vontez Burfecht. Well, this, is, this, is, this may be his first PED violation. This is his first yes, 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 PED yes. violation. He has been suspended for six games, a combination of six games for various on Right. Field transgressions like that one right there against Antonio Brown. That's where the controversy has been in the past. But in this particular case, it's about a PED. And the irony is, of course, is that he suffered the concussion from the Juju Smith-Schuster hit yeah. that left Smith-Schuster suspended for a game. And Perfect is taking medication to deal with that. The AC sprint in his shoulder. Test comes up positive. Let's just revisit one thing, and you started with potentially rumored to be traded to yeah, Oakland. I just know from sitting in on meetings, John Gruden loved him yeah. as a player. Obviously, he's a beast on the field. What does this mean for the potential of that? It, it was never in play. It was never much in play. I know that that had come out there. There was some speculation this week that he could be traded, but I could tell you that everybody I've spoken to has adamantly denied it, that there's nothing to it. And in this day and age, there's a lot of rumors that start. And sometimes they turn out to be true and sometimes not. In this particular case, uh, according to the people that I've spoken to, there's nothing to Vontaze Burfecht being traded. There is, however, something to the fact that he is facing a four-game suspension pending the appeal, and the date on that appeal has not been set. Good player. Really good player. Great player. A quarter of the season. Great player. You're talking a quarter, and in, it, it, it's, it's a big blow to the Bengals' defense. They need him. So talented, obviously. We'll keep you posted on this. Right